I'm Danny. And I'm Jesse. And we are Bear Pair Gaming. Bear Pair Gaming. <laughs> it's our Friday. I, I'm i currently drinking an energy drink. Yeah, and I have energy right now, so I'm fine for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hearing, hearing this play right now, my alarm clock plays the exact same thing you guys just heard, which was the intro. That's what we hear every morning. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just funny to hear it in from the actual game. I don't know who you are, but if you are going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp. So, I'll just follow you, my boy. I didn't say yes. <laughs> I know. Just invite himself. Okay. Oh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? D -d -d young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a bad quest. So, and Square Enix, so you would think. It goes hand in hand. Uh, as for The Sims, uh, The Sims was actually the first game me and Jesse played together. We played like an app version of it, but it, it was one of our first games as a couple. So, oh, the Sims Social? Yeah, so... And then before that, I played Sims and Sims 2 a bit, so that, that those were always fun. Um, I just love all the options and stuff. And Resident Evil is one of our favorite um, franchises. I actually wasn't a big fan because I was a scaredy cat until I met Jesse. And then we started playing the games together. Our first Resident Evil together was Resident Evil 5. Okay. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear and beautiful. You feel it is going to absorb you into another world. All right. Um, if you want to go back into that cave and explore. Well, I don't want to get hit, so yes. <laughs> so every time you come to him, he'll fully heal you. The wizard has deceived a king, and now he is trying to open the way to your to the dark world to complete your quest. You will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime, oh, my boy. I love massaging your supple shoulders. Read that sign. This cave leads to the path back to Kekarika. Okay, go back up the ladder. Or just go up the ladder. I, mean, I was about to say, I'm going <laughs> back if I never Okay, been. there should be no boulders here, so you should be f safe from that. Alright, who are the scum buckets that were throwing those boulders? It's not just a boulder! It's a rock! A rock! A rock! So there's going to be a heart piece down there on a ledge somewhere. I know we have to drop down. Okay, that looks like it's it right there. Um... There we go. Yeah, the, there we go. The, the moon theme. Ruin Arc uh, nailed it. <laughs> but I also like the Transylvania theme, too. Um, a, a lot of good music from it. But, of course, Capcom, they, they were killing it back then. I agree, Barking Otter. Uh, Barking Otter, sorry. Uh, who needs modern games when you can just get a Super NES emulator? <laughs> Very much that. But also, like, I love early three, 3D games. The good ones, anyway. Like, you know, Super Mario uh, 64, Ocarina of Time, Banjo-Kazooie. There you go. Jizz, it is I, Sahasharala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle. Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Uh, okay... If you fall down there, and eh, try it out. Where are we? Am I in a dungeon right now? <laughs> no. Okay. Ooh. Oh, fairies. Fairy god fairies! I think you have an empty bottle too. Yeah, you can't catch them with just a bottle in this game. He doesn't want to get his hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your brother and I weren't the only ones to mutter gibberish when reading Sahaja. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yes, I cannot pronounce that name. I'm trying my best. Saha Sahasarala. Sahasarala. <laughs> 
Like, I know I'm gonna butcher it either way, so just like... <laughs> go through... Okay, now, now go through the portal. Should be fine. He said doo-doo. <laughs> Alright, so first time in the dark world, babe. Why does it feel like Easter? <laughs> oh, this would have been perfect if we played on Easter, if we were doing this part on Easter. Bunny. Alright, uh, go to your left. Talk to them. He's not evil? What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak, and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo, shoo! Your tone seems very pointed right now. Can you talk to the other guy? I don't see no guys here. <laughs> There's this. Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Okay. Um, so I guess Link thinks of himself as a bunny. <laughs> Alright. Um, go back up. Go to your right. Those look like pancakes to me. <laughs> pancakes? Okay, I guess I can see it. It's lava, but it does look like maple syrup now that you mention it. This is pancake world. Get in the middle of those two shapes. Okay, bring out your mirror. Yes. Use it. Ta-da! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> There you go. All right, guys. Dungeon number three. The Tower of Hera. Help me. Channeling our inner Wonder Woman right now. Spectacle of Rock. <laughs> So this dungeon, um, it's like a big climb up, and the boss, I'm pretty sure you remember the boss, it's- It's it, a big version of it. Yeah, me. and it can push you, so you gotta be careful with that. Oh my, Hera. <laughs> I think there's a um, dungeon very similar to this um, on Link's Awakening yes. with the switches. It's uh, Is that a staple, like on the retro Zelda games? Um, I wouldn't say it's a staple, but especially the one in Link's Awakening was very notoriously hard. And a lot of people didn't beat the game because of it. Really? Yeah. It's it's just a very annoying dungeon. And it's I think it's one of the last ones, so... This one's not as bad. At least I don't remember it being bad. Uh, you can read what those sage is. It is I, Sahasarala, the elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. Okay. Which? Oh, never mind. I know the dungeon. Yeah. Um, I believe. Yeah, we got the map. Um, I believe it's one of the the la the last dungeons in Link's Awakening. Sahasrala. Sahasrala. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Sahasrala. Sahasrala. There's some names where you just kind of give up on. Like, if, if you play Final Fantasy VIII, there's a summon called... Uh, it's a Thunderbird. His name is, like, Quizzotl or something like that. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I Like, I just say it how I read it. So, Quiz Quizzotl. Something like it's that. It's not Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> What? And like, if you look up the name, you'll you'll understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Okay, see, I I remember that name because um I took like a lot of like history, and I I just remember we were studying Quetzalcoatl for a while, 
Yeah, Mexican. It, I, I, I think it was like a Mexican history class or something. Hmm. So I remember that name very well. Also, for Sahasrala, isn't there an Animal Crossing character named that? I think it was the camel that used to run the turnip business. I could be wrong, though. These enemies kind of remind me of the Buzzy Beetles from Mario a little bit. Alright. Then Yeah, in this dungeon, you're going to be falling down sometimes. Yeah, I kind of remember that. Um, so you have a key. You just, Yeah, you need to hit that switch. Try going in now. I'm just thinking, like, that's a bigger door, though? Or does oh, matter? right, yeah, you're right. That's the boss key. Okay. So I don't think I should fall down and see where it goes. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, back here. Um, okay, so I went in there. Okay, um, I do, there is a door here that needs a key. I guess I could just use that. Okay, that works. Also, um, Ooh. there's only a couple Zelda games I've never played. I mean, minus the CDI ones. I don't think I'm ever going to play those. <laughs> but, um... The only Zelda, like official Zelda games I've never played, are uh, the Minish Cap and Spirit Tracks. So I know Minish Cap I can easily download on the Wii U, and I'll I should be able to stream that for you guys. But um, with uh, Spirit Tracks, I don't. I, I'm sure there's some DS emulators out there. I can probably play it like that. Minish is great. I kept hearing it's really easy, but I mean, it always looked fun to me. And then I'm like, sassy bird hat? Yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I do want to play that for you guys. How did that die? <laughs> what the hell? The Game Boy Advance had so many good games. Another good Game Boy Advance game that I never played was Metroid Fusion. <laughs> Which is crazy because I played most Metroid games. I, th I think I missed out on a lot of Game Boy Advance games. Though I did play Oracles of Ages and Oracles of Seasons. Cool. Oh, okay. Already. Am I done? <laughs> I don't think so, because you still need the Moon Pearl. So. Oh, okay. Waiting for your PS4 to update. <laughs> is it me, or is there always an update every time I boot up my PS4? It just seems like it. And then the Switch updates don't take very long at all. Though I know like the PS4 is more powerful, of course. And then eventually when me and Jesse have our own place, um, we want to get like an, an arcade cabinet of like one of our favorite games or something. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> I think I saw someone I follow on Instagram or Twitter um, traded their TMNT cabinet for a Simpsons cabinet. Yeah, because the Cowabunga collection is coming out. Yeah, which is the game we're going to be playing on stream for sure. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Do you, you have the map. You don't have the compass, correct? Yeah, sometimes you're going to want to do stuff like that. Um, hey, you've been in there, right? Okay. Uh, still Switch takes one minute and PS4 feels like forever. Yeah. Like, I know the PS4 is more powerful, but at the same time, doesn't that mean the, the, the downloads should take shorter? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like it does take forever sometimes. And then it's like, oh, Netflix has to update and Hulu has to update. I'm like... Hmm. 
This dungeon can be a little tricky. What's with the third, like, intro dungeon being a little tricky? I sh but I shouldn't go in there yet. Uh, or you fell down the bottom one last time, so try the top one. Hmm. Honestly, at this point, maybe you should just go into the boss room. I think... Let me see. Check your map. Okay, where's the boss room at? Because, see, there's still more. Where's the door? Oh, okay. Going up here. I do want to play Mario Golf 64 with Jesse. Um, I think he would enjoy it, especially the mini golf. It's a lot of dumb fun. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, this is where we had to go. This game just looks so pretty still, huh? Like, and the music too. It's pixelated goodness. But, I don't know, like, this game still looks really good to me. We're playing on the um, Super NES Classic at the moment. I don't know if they upscaled it at all or anything, but it looks good. Okay, hello chest. It's the Kump Ass. Jiz, it is I, Sahasarala, the Elder. Does he have to always make it known that it's him, like Sahasarala, <laughs> the Elder? Like, who else talks? Does anyone else talk to Link on this thing? No. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. By the way, don't forget the Moon Pearl. <laughs> oh, and also I'm Sahasarala. <laughs> the Elder that's telling you not to forget the Moon Pearl. Okay, I'm just kind of... Because pearls are a Link's best friend. Incoming call from <laughs> Sahasarala. <laughs> Some, from Sahasarashala. <laughs> Incoming call from Sahasarala. Would you like to accept the charges? No. I would consider it spam, like, uh, yeah, like, spam caller at this point. Please leave your voicemail at the t at the tone of the cuckoo. <laughs> okay, so there's the big treasure chest. Ooh, we love big chests. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't bump into those. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll be you if that happens. Ooh, the red one. Goodbye, red one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always liked the sound of someone falling down one of those pits. It just, it sounds funny. Sounds cartoony. Yeah. Um, and they literally turn into a little speck. Let's try this one. Oh! Nope. It is I, Sahasarala. You fell down the wrong hole. <laughs> What are those things on the floor again? Those like, they like look, yeah, yeah, like that thing. I think you use the hookshot on those, can't you? I don't, we don't get the hookshot anytime no? soon. Oh, oh, oh okay, no. see. <laughs> so there were things you were missing. That switches stand on them. Yeah, I thought, I thought it, it had to do with something. Je Jesse's just like, oh no, mind blown. This dungeon just got harder. <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's more elements to the dungeon. Is Devil May Cry retro? Um, at this point, I would consider PS2 retro. As sad as it makes me to say that, because I'm like, oh no, now I feel old. Yeah, I would say, like some people even consider PS3 retro. Oops, oops. Oh. Which is crazy. Which is crazy to think the PS3 is considered retro. 
You can toss bombs. By the way, you have cracked walls. You can toss bombs. Okay. Um, I think they were up there. Yes. Oh, yeah. And thank you for pointing that out, Ruin. I know. I was looking up here like, something looks off. I was like, I have cracked walls? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, try your sword. Try hit- no, just, just hit it with your sword. Um, hold- hold out your sword. Time the explosions mid-toss left. But shouldn't it explode Um, That's so weird. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, Ruin says, some walls don't blow up. I don't know the trick. LOL. PS2 is not retro? What? I mean, 2006 was only like 10 years ago. PS3 retro, shake my head. <laughs> How old is PS2? Let's find out. Um, I don't know. I feel like those walls should have broken from that. It's so weird. Hmm. When did PS2 release? So the PS2 came out March 4th, 2000. <laughs> 22 years old, yep. Oh my god, a PS2 can order a drink at a bar. <laughs> Hashtag fake cracks. Yeah, that's so weird. Every time we see a cracker, like, throw a bomb at it, but it's not working this time. Remember the ads for the PS2? Um, I try to think. I can't remember them at the moment. <clears throat> Tower of Hera. Cracks. Let's see here. Hmm, okay. That gives me an idea. Hmm. Let's see if the guide I have says anything about these cracks. Okay, so I don't want to land on those, unless... No. <laughs> I didn't mean to fall on that one. Okay. Yeah, it's weird the guy didn't mention the cracked walls either. Alright, um, head back up. So I, which, have you filled down all these holes yet or no? I think it's a, I think I remember the northern one being the one you want to fall down. This one, right? I believe so. So the thing with that is I'll fall and then I automatically hit. Okay. Oh, I did it. There you go. Oh. It, Okay, I thought I did that already. <laughs> uh, you found the Moon Pearl. It protects the hero from changing the effects of the Golden Tower. Alright. And there you have it. 
fall down the hole that is especially holy. <laughs> the holy hole. It's like a top picking like his favorite bottom. It's, it's like, hmm, yours is pretty big. Which hole should I go down? I kind of want all those pots. <laughs> a link that wants to break pots. Groundbreaking. Well, here we go. Boss time. I'll just chill here and do it. He won't let me, huh? I gotta uh, jump into the Yeah, pit. you have to pretty much jump in there. You have to commit to it. You can actually kill this boss from above. Oh, if you would have thrown bombs, huh? I think I think you can do it that way. Yeah, careful. His tail's his only weak point. And don't quote me, but I think if you fall, you, his HP resets. It does. That I remember. He gets faster too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Ru Ruin confirmed that you can throw bombs at him technically without going down there. Oh, no, Ooh, no. oh. I, pushed my, I pushed myself. Oh well. If you can't push yourself, how the hell are you going to push somebody else? <laughs> Hold on, I need, I'm going to hit the switch. I, don't, I want those pots. <laughs> Ruin. <laughs> Jesse really wants those pots. I thought there was a switch down here. Uh. There's one. I don't think it matters, so I'll just hit. What a switch! Don't fuck with the switch. So, I mean, this dungeon didn't take too long. No? I, I mean, we haven't beat the boss, but we're pretty much there. I was just expecting to solve a lot of um, pitfall puzzle bullshit. Mm. Yeah, it's not as e evil as the um, Link's Awakening Tower. Well, I only have eight bombs, so I'm wondering if it's worth doing that. Oh. oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Hey, <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Don't even think about clipping that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you got this, babe. I believe in you. I have 100% faith in you. You'll get it this time. Oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Is he okay? Yeah, I think only your... S mm. oh, I think he's lost his shit. Oh, and there you go again. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> yeah, th this boss notoriously gives people trouble. Like, I'm trying not to laugh at Jesse right now, but <laughs> it's just funny. Just kind of take your time and look for your openings. Because he can he gets stunned for a little bit after you hit him. Oh, that was close. Uh, 
I think you have to hit him like eight times. Can I get a A hey, man? Oh, no, okay, now he gone crazy. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> that was close. Don't do me dirty game. Yeah, you did it! Okay, it was less than eight. Don't forget your heart piece. <laughs> oh. Huzzah! The final pendant. The game is like, here. <laughs> <Just> take <laughs> it. it. Imagine if it would have fell down one of the holes. Because <laughs> it literally just fell from the sky. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Well, you heard the lady. Or whoever was talking to you. Why is Riz Wisdom red? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a good point. What was it literally the wisdom pearl? Cuz yeah, that 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 does make no sense. Usually power is red, wisdom's blue and courage is green. So now what? I go back to the sanctuary? Uh you go back to the uh the, the lost woods. A few moments later. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> nice and cr Oh, <laughs> never mind. I thought you said nice and floppy, but I was reading an old message. Oh yeah, watch out with the thieves. I have been down here. Yeah, time. you just want to keep exploring the forest, I think. I love the Lost Woods in this game. It looks so pretty. Is that the right one? Yeah, that should be right there. That wasn't too bad. Hey, look at all the squirrels. Squirrel! Wait, hold on. Let me get my iPhone to translate. Google, translate. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. What like, she said. I'm like, I'll just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! And then you fall into a seven-year-long coma. Oh wait, wrong game. Hey, Bear Pears, how's the adventure going? Hey, Michael, it's going good. Hey. We just got the Master Sword. Yay. <laughs> Suddenly, Sahasarala contacts you telepathically. Jizz, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Jizz. <laughs> jizz, LMAO. Yeah, it was chat that named us Jizz last time, so we stuck with it. You remember in the 20th anniversary Zelda medley, the Dark World theme was such a banger? Yes, I remember what you're talking about, too. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it a thing where chat names our characters from now on. Jizz, help! The soldiers are coming to sanctuary! Aye! <laughs> oh, Jackie Mode is here, so don't shout. <laughs> Alright, so looks like it's time for me to rhyme. Set timer to two minutes. Alright, that's right. It's rhyming time. Now let's prepare. Oh, what a crime! 
This poor old man is on you the floor. Killed me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this poor old man is drunk on the floor, and someone went and uh, stole that whore. <laughs> I mean, she's not the one that turned into a bunny, though. Jizz, Jizz you are a second too late. I have failed. Zelda, <laughs> the soldiers have abducted Good. her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. Goodbye for now. Oh, it appears that he is now dead. Now let's go bake some banana bread. <laughs> Now we must venture off into Hyrule Castle. Pardon me, I'm gay, you asshole. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now our sword can throw sparkling swirls. And now I'll impress all the girls. <laughs> Why must I rhyme every time I speak? I feel like I'm some sort of freak. <laughs> Move, I'm gay, you filthy peasants. Oh, look, what flew by? I think it was a pheasant. <laughs> Peasants fly? <laughs> pheasant! <laughs> or maybe it was a serpent. Oh, right. <laughs> now we must save the, the princess and get her out of this mess. And then hopefully after that, she'll lend us her dress. <laughs> <laughs> and redemption's over. I am free from rhyming. Zelda was kidnapped and the poor old man met... met <laughs> poor <laughs> Why'd you do that? I just saved you from Ganon. You did not. I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won. <laughs> I mean, Link's getting ahead of himself, but we'll see. We're going to do that now. Stand back, you fools. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to find a way to play those horrible games. <laughs> nice Zelda hoodie. Thank you, Reaver's Ball. It's one of my favorite hoodies, honestly. That one's based off of Twilight Princess, right? Um, yes, this one's Twilight Princess. I have a Wind Waker one that you gave me. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to get... I had a wig and ears from Halloween, but... He didn't like them. Uh, yeah, the wig got kind of messed up after that party. So I need to find another wig. His but hair I... was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, and the, the ears were kind of uncomfortable, you guys. They kind of were. They were slip-ons. So um, I'll, I'll see if I can find some better quality ones for okay. stream. Um, am I supposed to head to like the throne room? Or... Yeah, it's like a dungeon now, pretty oh. much. Oh, so don't go down, go up. Uh, yeah. I want, yeah. I want to say go to the throne room. It, it shouldn't be a hard dungeon. That's all I remember. Okay, so do you remember outside on the second floor? Yes. So there should be a barrier you can break with the Master Sword now. Yep, okay. So this is the dungeon part, pretty much. Mm, okay. Are you excused from the Chrono Cross Remaster, Jesse? Um, uh, I, I'm, I think you mean... I'm pretty sure you mean excited. <laughs> um, so a couple of things. Uh... I never played Chrono Trigger. Um, I know it's a very iconic game, and it's an RPG, so We've that's, been canceled. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, it's supposed to be right up my alley, but I, I remember playing the intro. <laughs> I see even Ruin said, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I played the intro, and I think... Heresy. <laughs> Heresy. And I think I even played Unfollowed? Few... Wow. Mm. Oh, no, you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I haven't played it either. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to have to play that. I think it's on the Super Nintendo Classic, if not. And um, uh, with that said, I, I didn't play Chrono Cross because I, I felt 
I never got into the series, so <laughs> I didn't play that one either. It's not that we didn't want to play it, we just never played it. Um, I think it was hard finding a copy back when it was on Super Nintendo. And I don't think they re -re Well, I lie, it's probably available on Steam. Gay gasp. I know, I know, eventually we want to get to that game as well. So that'll definitely be one of the games where we both literally never played it before. That'll um, be perfect, actually. Yeah. I would say definitely look forward to that um, on the channel. We're gonna we're gonna play that. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what our next big retro game is gonna be after this, but that's definitely gonna be one of the ones on the list. I just feel like I want to play Final Fantasy VI first. I would say make a poll again. I think. Polls are really yeah. fun Actually, um, we could for everyone do that. to engage in and uh, help us decide what, what to do next. And then there's a couple short retro games that I want to play for you guys, like Space Channel 5. So those can be like in between a big RPG type of game. Mm -hmm. mm, six. <laughs> well, in, in the sake of RPGs, um, Danny has never played Final Fantasies 1 through 6, 7, 8, 9... <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Most he's of them. Played, like, he's one okay. of the newer fans. So, um, I my first exposure to actually playing a Final Fantasy game was Final Fantasy X on PS2. But before that, I, I did know of Final Fantasy. I just always had, like, Nintendo consoles. So I didn't play too many of the retro ones. You are all doing great swinging your swords at the enemies, lol. <laughs> I, I like, like, whenever um, I get the Master Sword, I, I like this feature. Gay or gasp at Danny. So, one of my closest friends in high school would constantly play 7, 8, and 9 because um, she loved those games and specifically 8 was her favorite. So, I would pretty much watch her play all the time. So, I kind of like. What the fuck was that? Like, that was my exposure to those games. I didn't own them, but I've seen her play them over and over. And, um, I do eventually know I need to get to doing my own playthrough of those games. <laughs> You've never played a Final Fantasy game? Okay, Radio. Um, well, so we're not, we're kind of in the same boat. But, um, I have played 10 onward, for sure. Uh, you didn't play 11. <laughs> okay, we're not counting the, and you didn't play the online ones, okay? <laughs> Stop exposing me to chat right now. <laughs> lurk. Hey, hey, Wolf. Can't stay but wanted to lurk. Have a great stream. Oh, thank you, Wolf. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the lurk. All lurks are appreciated, so thank you. Literally playing a Final Fantasy game right now. Which one are you playing, Rune? You love being exposed, don't lie. <laughs> I mean, no, I must cover up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 14? Oh, okay. Wait, one of them turned into a fairy. What? Who did? I think I killed one of the soldiers and a fairy came out soon after. Well, confirmed. The Master Sword makes you gay. <laughs> my little, my colorful light, like, <laughs> opened his eyes to be gay. There's 14 games. Yeah, Jesse actually played a lot of Final Fantasy 14, um, but he did stop before like the big expansions came up. No, they hit me. Oh. Oh, I don't have my beam anymore. Oh wait, I got back. Way more than 14. <laughs> yeah, and we have Final Fantasy 16 coming out this year, supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah, so currently there's 15 like mainline Final Fantasy games, but there's more than that. There's like, um, uh, what are they called? There's 10-2, there's... Yeah, there's there's sequels in between, but there's also like the, the uh, strategy IV, ones. The after years. Um, like tactics, there you go. That That's the game I was thinking of. Well, they only made one tactics game. But if we're talking about like the mainline Final Fantasy games, they're at number 15 currently, but there are some of them that have sequels. Like there's 10-10-2, 13-2, 13-3. Um, uh, 
I think four. 12 had a sequel as well, and 4 as well. There's tons of offshoot games. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> There's three tactics. <laughs> Two of them were from Game Boy. Ah, okay. We were thinking of getting the 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 Chocobo racing game, but I heard a lot of bad things about it, so I'm like, ooh, the pay to win thing kind of like turns me off. Ooh. How are they shooting well in the dark? Maybe they have night vision. I don't know. Ye old night vision. <laughs> I think it's a pretty straightforward dungeon. You're literally probably just climbing. Ooh, a bat with with a big eye. <laughs> I like that. Remember, if um, you take a projectile dead on without pushing anything, your shield will block it. <laughs> Fluffy Pandad, were you just lurking in the in the in the shadows waiting <laughs> to release the coconuts? <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back guys and I'll honor the redemption. Just give me a second. Jesse will keep playing though. Alright, uh, back, back, back again. And the coconuts are here. Wah, wah. <laughs> How you do it? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Thank you for the redemption, Fluffy. So, Final Fantasy Tactics is for Game Boy Advance, Tactics 2 is for DS, and uh, is for PSX. Ah, okay. And they all tie into Final Fantasy XII PS2. Oh yeah, they take place in Ivalice, right? <laughs> Tee hee. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Alright, let's set the timer to 45 minutes. Set timer to 45 minutes. You hear that classic music? Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> jizz! I've been waiting for you! <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold! The last moment of... Almost gets punched. Princess Zelda! Eh, hey, what's happening to me? Eh, hey, hey, I'm levitating! Why does a feather hey. stiff as a board? <laughs> Call me Dua Lipa, I'm levitating. Oh my! She died! <laughs> well, you just did me a favor. No, just kidding. Ho, ho, ho! The hole's gone. With this, the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us, the tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. Ho 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 ho! Now I must go. Why is he Santa? <laughs> uh, there's also Final Fantasy Revenant Wings. Forget which handheld that was for. I think it was for the DS. Come in at the right time, I see, lol. <laughs> Hello, math nerd. Doing good. We're about to fight Arahim. <laughs> Uh, however you pronounce that, I'm leveling up Monk on Samurai in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> evil power! But we're not also in Ivalice. 
Uh, Revenant Wings is also Rev- Uh, yes, because Revenant Wings was a direct sequel to 12, I believe. I've never played it, but I know it did have a sequel. Oh, so you mean to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Totally. Well, would you like to be- Uh, well, I can make your wish come true. Now fall into my hole. So this is where the Ganon, uh, Ganondorf boss battle was inspired by. When he shoots the ones that have multiple orbs, you don't want to hit those because they explode. You don't have to spin the sword. Oh, yeah, so see, he, he tricks you sometimes. There you go. You gotta play volleyball with him. Oh. Sorry, I only want to be partially destroyed. <laughs> only partially. Like one fourth destroyed. <laughs> totally destroyed. Oh. <laughs> He only does the lightning attack from the top middle. Gotcha. Okay. Aww. Oh. Yeah, so when he ever goes in the top middle, he's going to do the lightning attack. Darn. Top mid equals get beside him. Beside him? I don't even know him. I think you could have hit him when he did that. A couple more hits should do it. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't home in on him, unlike the Ganondorf battle. Oh! That was close. Oh. oh, you can't hit him. Okay, never mind. It's just funny that does damage to you. Also, I think I remember hearing that you can use the butterfly net to deflect his ball. Well met, like the true hero that you are. But I am not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the dark world, into my bussy. Oh, as I spin, spin. Enter the bussy, the dark bussy. You could totally roleplay with Link and the wizard. <laughs> Thank you, Ruin. Thank you. <laughs> Jizz, it is I, Sahasarala. I am communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the Dark World. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the seven maidens who Agonim sent to the Dark World. As members of the bloodline of the seven wise men, they have power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Jizz, I can rely on you. Please make this old man wishes come true. I beg you, Jizz. <laughs> That's a tall order. Michael said Dark World Bussy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, the real game begins now. It's funny that you always stopped when you got to the Dark World because that's when the real game begins.